We use a fair amount of garlic in our household, in particular minced garlic, and I'm tired of buying it at the store. So this year I'm planting some fall garlic that will be ready in the spring. And as usual, I've done a bunch of research on planting garlic and I want to share all that information with you. Thank God for a coffee. Welcome back to our channel. If you're already a subscriber, thank you, thank you for being here. We sure appreciate you. And if you're not a subscriber yet and you get some stuff out of this video, maybe you want to consider subscribing and liking our video, maybe leaving us a comment. It does help us with YouTube. But let's talk about garlic today. We're going to briefly go over some considerations you need to keep in mind when you're choosing and ordering garlic. Then we're going to talk about why do you have to plant garlic in the fall and then we're going to get some of this in the ground. First off, this is garlic that I ordered online and then when I harvest in the, the garlic in the spring, I'll save my healthiest heads of garlic for next year's, next fall's planting. What do you need to think about when you're ordering garlic? First of all, you need to think about where your zone is. Here in the United States, if you are in zone six or colder, you need to select what's called a hard neck variety of garlic. Um, and that just refers to the actual neck of the plant. Is it hard or is it soft? Soft neck varieties are better for milder climates. We here in Iowa are in zone 5A, so I have selected a hard neck variety um, called Chesnick Red, and you can see that it produces some nice heads of garlic. You want to order your garlic in the summer. Order it early, and they will ship it to you whenever it's ready for you to plant it. Here in zone 5A, we want to plant in October, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But make sure that you order it early while there's still a good supply because a lot of places do run out of garlic and you can't get it then when you need it in the fall. You want to make sure that you do not split this apart into cloves um, until you're ready to plant it. You also want to make sure you don't do something like keep it in the refrigerator Keep it in a cool, dark, aerated location until you're ready to plant it. But the sooner you can plant it, the better. Um, but leave it as a whole head until you're ready to plant it. So why do we plant garlic in the fall? Garlic needs what's called vernalization in order to produce a nice, healthy head of garlic. Vernalization is a process where something goes over the winter and the cold stresses the garlic and um, that is what it needs in order to produce a good head in the spring. So that's why we plant it in the fall. Now our goal here is to get our garlic cloves to produce roots now but not sprouts. We want them to produce roots and get established and then in the spring it will sprout and grow the garlic. Let's go plant some garlic. Garlic is a heavy feeder, so you want to make sure that you add some good fertile compost to your soil um, when you're planting your garlic to give it that good boost. And another thing to keep in mind is if you have a period of time in the fall after you plant your garlic where there's 10 to 14 days or so without any rain or moisture, then you might want to consider adding some water just to give it a little boost. Right now here in Iowa, in um, where we're at, we haven't had rain for quite a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of water when I plant my garlic. This is gonna be the bed where I plant my garlic this year. So now you see what I've done is, there was a lot of mulch on this bed already from growing tomatoes here over the summer. So I've just pulled that back and exposed the dirt but I will put that mulch back on it when we are done. You can see that I have dug a trench here. This trench is about four inches or so deep. 
So now before I plant the garlic, I'm gonna go ahead and I've grabbed a bucket of um, some good compost. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some compost down in the bottom here. Because of our dry conditions, I'm gonna go ahead, as I said, and add a little bit of water. Let that soak in. Now I'm gonna split this garlic head apart into its cloves. So we have our individual cloves. And on these cloves, this bottom part here is where the roots are going to develop and the top part will be where the plant pops out in the spring. So we're gonna put these with that bottom part down in the soil. We're just going to push this into the compost. And we're going to do that four to six inches apart is how you want to play this. If you're planting garlic in a raised bed situation like I am, you want to make sure that you have about six inches of space around your garlic on all sides and that'll give it plenty of room to develop that nice big garlic head. Now once you get your um, garlic cloves in the ground we're going to put some more compost over the top then we're going to put the regular soil back on then we're going to put a layer of mulch to help keep that moisture in this fall while our garlic is developing roots. We sure appreciate each and every one of you. We love it when we get your comments and we're able to respond and we know that you're enjoying our videos. We appreciate it and we appreciate you. Have a great week and we'll see you next time.